Hello and welcome back everybody. It's KB here and today I want to show you guys what's new in OBS Studio version 26. So yeah, this version recently got released and it has some really cool features. Okay, I want to show you that. So as always, uh, if you want to get the latest OBS Studio, you can go to their website and get it. Yes, that's how you get it. But if you want to read the change logs or you want to know what are the new features and improvements you actually have to go to the github page of obs studio from here you can uh, read what are the new features and all that okay i will put link in the description for both obs studios github page plus the official site from there you can download from here you can read the new features and improvements and all that so in this video i'm going to show you guys some of the new features okay so let's get into it so the first new plus the biggest feature in obs studio is the virtual camera and uh, sadly this is only available for windows as of now okay uh, in future maybe the other operating systems such as mac os and linux will get this feature but as of now this is only available for windows so what does virtual camera do so actually whatever scene for example in obs studio 26 uh, i'm recording my desktop and here we have new button called uh, start virtual camera so it doesn't matter what you're recording gameplay webcam or just a screen you can uh, click on start virtual camera okay from here once you start this you can use that camera onto other application anything like skype uh, even in within the obs for example i'm going to show you here i'm going to add the new scene here uh, video capture device and new and here you can see obs virtual camera i can click on it and you can see there it is here so that's how you use the virtual camera in obs and this is how it works so this will be really useful uh, for example say you have only one webcam and you are recording that webcam using obs studio and you want but at the same time you want to use that camera uh on skype let's say you want to do the video chat while you're recording uh the with the obs studio so you can do that okay yeah you can have your uh, webcam uh recording here and you can start the uh, virtual camera within the obs studio and you can use that virtual camera on skype to do the video calls you know you can do anything not only the webcam you can also use any screen that you're recording gameplay just a screen or anything like that hope you got the idea what i'm trying to say here okay so the next big feature in my opinion is the new noise suppression filter or you can say in simple words noise removal fil filter okay if you go to your filters okay i have already added this just to do the test you know i always do the test before i actually do something <laughs> okay click on plus icon and after that uh, add the noise suppression okay click okay and after that uh, there will be two choices we, we will have speaks okay and we will have the r and noise so the best is r and noise so this is as they say ai based noise removal thingy okay so this is like uh, have you heard about the rtx voice so rtx voice is just amazing when it comes to removing a background noise from your uh, voice okay whenever you record or whatever you do so this is that this is like uh similar to that so yeah that's all i know about this but this works way better like you're streaming and you're you know there is a background noise of your fan or ac whatever it will remove that it will reduce background noise way better than any other uh, noise removal thing is so this new filter is going to be useful for streamers or gamers okay yeah <laughs> that's it and now 
the next one what I noticed is that we have new toolbar here which is basically a shortcuts for the settings so before this we had to right click and from there we can go to properties filters and all that but now we can just click on the source that we are using webcam or screen whatever okay you can we can click on that and after that we can click on the properties maybe i want to go to the properties maybe i, I want to add some filters just, this is just one click away we don't have to go over and right click and you know all that and you can also switch between the monitors uh let's say you have two monitors sadly i have only one okay uh, so uh, if the, if you have two displays uh, you can choose from here okay and uh, one more thing i think they mentioned here as they say media control uh let's say if you have a video or slideshow whatever in obs you'll have a media control thingy just like you see on media players so if you have that okay like mp4 maybe a slideshow anything okay and you have to choose that and you will have the media control thingy next skip play so something like that <laughs> so i think that is it oh one more thing uh one more thing very big feature i think for some of you guys okay screenshot so before this it was not possible to do a screenshot of the preview uh, of the gameplay or whatever you are trying to record but now it is possible so you can see we have this screenshot output we can add our custom uh, key here with by pressing that key we can capture this screenshot so yeah uh, for some people it will be really useful let's say you're playing a game and you want to capture the screenshot of the certain movement yeah now it's going to be very useful <laughs> and uh, i think that's it there are ah oh, one more thing i i you know there are so many changes that I, I just forget okay i have to keep looking at that so you can see we have the new percentage volume control if you go under the advanced audio properties okay uh, before this we only had a db based uh, voice control but now we have a percentage let's say i want the desktop audio to be 80 percent now i have that now i can just 50 percent now it's much easier to understand non uh techie guy okay non non techie guy cannot understand the db thingy okay negative six was to 50 percent i did not know about that so yeah the volume control with the volume percentage is also very good in my opinion i, I mean uh, in everybody's opinion and uh, yeah that's it these are the most no noticeable changes you will see in obs studio 26 and yeah some of the features are like absolutely great such as the new toolbar here and the virtual camera built in yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it guys uh, this is the new obs studio 26 and uh, some of the features are only available to windows as of now so we may have to wait a little longer to get some of these features to the mac os and linux so we can't do anything about that okay the developers are working very hard okay they are trying their best and hopefully soon everybody will get this feature but if you're using a windows it's already here okay and that's it hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me show you here uh, actually, I have this is personal thingy. Okay, I'm showing you this. <laughs> this is how I record my videos right now. Uh, now these days, okay, I use to use a double OBS before this uh, in one uh, webcam and in one the whatever I want to capture like screen of my desktop. Okay. Uh, but now I capture everything in one place and uh, I leave this OBS studio just for fun. So one is like installed, one is not installed. So one is like portable OBS studio. You can see here at the top, it says portable. 
so this one is portable but before this i i used to use both of them for one for webcam and one for desktop but now i use just one and uh, i don't know how it looks it looks amazing <laughs> hope so that's it i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you want me to make a tutorial on this like how i did this and the best obs settings and all that then yeah do the comment and i will try to explain everything that i know about obs and explain everything what settings you should use for the obs for high spec computers and low spec computers and all that you know what i'm trying to say here okay <laughs> i have been using obs from a very long time okay and i have done lots of changes here and there and finally yeah i have done the perfect settings for my obs so if you want me to do a full tutorial on obs then i can do that for now that's it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for the github page and the uh, obs studio site you can go there download that and read the new features added to the obs studio 26 by yourself and that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.